Hey guys, what's happening? We are headed to Trinidad and Tobago today. There is a situation going on where the army will basically be taking over the crime fighting aspect in the country. The situation is getting really, really bad. It appears that the TTPS, which is the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, cannot really handle the situation as it used to. I'm not sure, I guess many of you know Ian Allen. He has been talking about this situation of crime in Trinidad for years. As a matter of fact, he has always been advocating that they leave politics out of this situation and that really come together and put a handle on the situation before it gets out of control. Now it has gotten out of control. That the army will be playing a bigger role in dealing with crime situation in the country. There's also the issue of the Venezuelans in Trinidad, and many persons are blaming the Venezuelans. I saw in the news, the newspaper, it says Venezuelan activist Gonzalez said it was unfair of authorities to try blame Venezuelan migrants for the rampant criminality in Trinidad and Tobago. In a voice note to the news day on September 6th, she said much of the crime has long been happening under the noses of the authorities who are now seeking to blame migrants. All right. Earlier that day, Commissioner of Police Earl Ahir with Christopher said the police will be coming after legal and illegal migrants involved in crime. But when questioned, she said she had never specified Venezuelans. However, I mean, we've been hearing a lot of things about the Venezuelan and crime in Trinidad and Tobago. So those of you from Trinidad, leave the comments in the section below so I can know what's taking place. We are certainly not at ease at all because we recognize that the crime situation demands decisive action by the police. And therefore, we are saying that we are taking a no-nonsense approach. We are going to be stepping up in terms of the number of patrols, and you're gonna see that patrol, the patrols will be most uh, with the army being part and parcel of what is happening because it is not just about the TTPS. This is where it is about having that multi-agency. You heard it there from the police authority in Trinidad and Tobago. The situation is getting out of control and the army now will be playing a more bigger role, a more active role in helping to curb the crime situation in Trinidad. So those of you heading to Trinidad and Tobago, I've got a lot of calls from persons overseas. They were asking me about whether or not it's really, really safe to head to Trinidad at this time. Look, every country in the world has crime. Trinidad, just has a surge in the crime situation and they're trying their best now to deal with it but visitors are thinking about whether or not they should go there look you can still go to trinidad and tobago all right the situation with the venezuelans is one of concern commissioner of police christopher here what christopher said she was addressing a briefing at the ministry of national security in port of spain and said we also have whether legal or illegal migrants involved in criminal activities so we want to speak to the illegal migrants to let them know that we will be coming after them in our bars with all the illicit activities. We'll be coming after them. The cop did not name the activities in bars for which the police would apprehend migrants nor say what proportion of crimes in Trinidad and Tobago were done by migrants. Gonzalez said, yes, there is crime with Venezuelans in Trinidad, but it is not all the Venezuelans that are criminals and it is not all the Trinidadians that are criminals. She said the police can do many things to tackle crime in Trinidad and Tobago, but they're discriminating against the Venezuelans and treating them badly. So the Venezuelans are now caught up in that situation and they're being blamed as well for the crime situation. So those of you from Trinidad, let me know if that is really the situation with the Venezuelans playing a large part in this crime situation in Trinidad. But this has been going on for a number of years. Like I said, I heard Ian Allen speaking about it for years and years and calling for all politicians, whether on the opposition or government at any other time, to play an active role together to deal with the crime situation. It appears that the situation of crime has been politicized, and so there's a problem now, apparently, in Trinidad and Tobago, where it's surging out of control. Like I said, I'm not living in Trinidad, but those of you there can let me know what's taking place and what's really responsible for this surge in the crime that we're seeing in Trinidad right now. But they are going to be visiting again banks they're going to be visiting hospitals they're going to be doing a holistic uh in terms of their patrols it's going to be involving not just uh mobile patrols but it's going to be quasi patrols there is a problem a serious problem and the police are looking to tackle it as quickly as possible and to see how they can put a handle on it but the police now 
will be getting help from the army. The army basically will be taking over, uh, playing a bigger role in dealing with this crime situation in Trinidad and Tobago. So those of you from Trinidad and Tobago, those of you on the live or those of you who have subscribed to this channel, let me know what's happening in Trinidad and Tobago. And remember to share the video, subscribe to the channel so you'll get notifications when we go live or when we post a new video. Look, we got some new information as well on the situation with the heat and you will be amazed as to what's taking place. It appears there's something going on and we will be bringing that to you shortly in another video.